Good morning. Happy, I think it's Wednesday. I almost said Thursday. So happy summer. Happy summer where every day starts to kind of feel like the next day. Um, Palmafira has a 99 cent shipping today and tomorrow. They just sent a message over about an hour ago. Uh, I wish they would let me know in advance when they were going to do things like this so I could let you guys know in advance, but it's like a surprise. So anyways, just excited they're doing it. Um, I've been using Palmafira skincare now for a really long time. And uh, I even was sending a picture of my skin to my friend yesterday. And I was like, have you ever tried Palmafera? Like, no pressure. She's one of my best friends. But I was like, seriously, my skin is like aging backwards. And I was like, I know you're into like that kind of thing. And I just genuinely think you would love it. Um, and that's, I feel like the biggest testament to, oh, almost knocked that over, to like finding things you love when you just naturally are like sharing it with people and you're like, you've got to try this because you're going to be in love with it. So I'm using a race pre cleanser by Palmafera. It is $18, um, maybe $19 actually, but it is a oil-based cleanser. Oil breaks down oil. We have oil in our skin. Um, I did a demonstration the other day of like what just using a regular cleanser, like how clean your skin gets. And it's not super clean, to be honest. And then by using an oil-based cleanser beforehand and a cleanser, um, it's crazy. So anyways, just gonna make sure I have stuck on mascara. Um, so funny. So I <laughs> took a bath last night and like kind of washed my face. And then I realized I got out and I don't know what I was doing, but I didn't wash my mascara. And then I was like, Adam went out to eat with a friend last night who was in town from Utah. And, um, he didn't get home until really late. And I was like, well, I don't want to take my mascara off. Like I want to look cute. And I fell asleep in it. And so here we are today taking off, a uh, two day old mascara. So, Ooh, first time you're catching me live. Okay. So what I like to say is whenever, um, 99 cent shipping is going on for Palmafera. That is like when I recommend stocking up and saving, uh, they don't have a discount code or sales typically. And so, but you can get a good amount of savings on shipping. Um, their products are incredibly like affordably priced and, uh, the most affordable skincare out of all the skincare I've ever, ever used. Um, and it's good. Uh, let me go. We're going to wash our face in the bathroom. I see the podcast room. Oh, hang on. Can can it focus? It's really struggling. Nope, can't do it. Oh, cameras. Modern technology. Um, all right, we're going to wash. So I use the Danger Danger Game Changer Collection. It is just, uh, I feel like a collection that gives you the most bang for your buck. It has a great exfoliator. It has moisturizer. It, you can pick for your cleanser for your skin type. Okay, so a tip for you, make sure your little spout is clean and then it'll go exactly where you want. Um, I have my kids using this as well because it is all natural, um, non-toxic, and it's good for you. And it's also great if you have acne prone skin. Um, it's good for wrinkles, emerging wrinkles, fine lines. So I'm going to show you the serums that I use. I do use a couple other serums uh, from a company called Herbal Alchemy as well. One day I can show you that. Their Blackberry Firming Serum has been like such a good, <laughs> such a good fave for me. Um, if you feel like I need that in my life. Uh, if you go to CourtneySwan.com and click Herbal Alchemy. It's the Blackberry Firming Serum. It's so, so good. Um, but I'm going to show you today, since Palmafera has a deal, I will show you the serums that I'm using from Palmafera. Okay, so Palmafera is a, a fruit. It's a Palmafera orange. It's a really special fruit because of its anti-aging properties. And so 
um, it makes it really unique. Uh, the company Palmafera um, is just a few years old and it was recently bought out by a the oldest uh, like kind of vitamin company called Shackley. So if you ever hear me talk about Shackley or Palmafera, they're the same thing. They're bought by the same people. Um, and Shackley now sells Palmafera. Anyways, my link, you can just get what you need there. Um, I'll, I'll pin it. Uh, but there, if you have loved their products, uh, drop below what your favorite Palmafera product is or Shackley product. Um, this is like my ride or die. I use this uh, so much. Um, so I was never a huge skincare believer uh, before I did Palmafera. I would buy, not that I didn't buy skincare, but I would buy a few things. I would use it a few times and then I would like move on to something else. Like I couldn't ever tell a difference. And when I started using this, I have gone through bottles and bottles and bottles over the years. Um, I pay for it just like you do. Um, and I have gone through so many, and it's the only skincare in my whole life that I can say I have completely used a bottle of it over and over again. I love the results that it gives. The plump helps with fine lines, wrinkles. Um, I used to get Botox uh, like for my crow's feet. Uh, I used to get filler here. Um, now the only place I get Botox, I have a deep wrinkle that like my whole family genetically has right across the forehead. Um, and that's the only place I get Botox. The rest of my skin, I like don't have those wrinkles anymore. It's crazy. Um, I had some hyperpigmentation, like just some sunspots. Um, they're gone. Uh, the Palmafera oil, it's called Palmafera Rose. Um, it is so good, like age spot skin, uh, proven to reduce age spot skin damage, hyperpigmentation, deep wrinkles, and emerging wrinkles and fine lines. So the Palmafera rose oil has lavender, rosemary, coriander, eucalyptus, and Palmafera rose in it. And then they also just launched a pure Palmafera oil. So if you are like, oh, like that's what's really good for the age spots and the sunspots. So if you're like, I don't want any of the other concentrated things in with it. I just want Palmafera oil. That's what this is. Okay. <laughs> Cheryl says it's the absolute best. I have spent so much over the years that this is the one. Um, it, it is. So to be honest, I've never sold skincare before. I just have never been a skincare person. Uh, I am a firm believer. Well, I used an oil once that I liked for a little while, but uh, like just the oil. But I never had anything that just worked for me. Sometimes when I would use stuff, my skin would go crazy. And I felt like I don't want to sell something. I worked for brands that offered skincare and I did not like the skincare that the brands offered. And so um, I'm a firm believer of like, sharing what I love, but I do not like to be forced to share something if I don't love it. Um, and I don't like, I want you to know that if I tell you 10 out of 10, I recommend, then I like recommend it, you know? And so I actually used Palmafera for about six months as a customer before I even signed up to sell it. And when people started noticing, like I was reordering and I was like, this just makes sense. I'm like telling all my friends, like, you've got to go try this. And so, uh, I also was looking like, you know, I was pregnant. I couldn't get Botox and couldn't get anything. And I um, didn't want my skin to keep getting like older looking. And so I looked for like a natural alternative and um, winner, like such a good winner. So, okay, so they have the Palmafera rose oil with all those things. Also, if you put it on skin tags um, or warts, they're micro uh, bacterial, antibacterial. They're made with. My phone up. Why? Why do I do that? Um, I like will go to bed with a charger, or like right now, I'm at 10%. I will go to bed with a charger and don't plug it in. Or I will um, <clears throat> have a charger right here. So annoying. Okay, so we're going to use the pure just a little bit because I'm going to be putting makeup on. So this is going to be, uh, but at nighttime, I slather this all over, but it is a, a hydrating oil. I just kind of press it into my skin. 
I'm not going to be using a lotion right now because I am um, using a BB cream today. I need to spray tan. I just feel icky when I'm not. I exfoliated last night. Um, they have bars that you can put. I uh, wish I do actually. Hang on. I was going to say I wish. So they have these and I keep them in this and you can just like, it's all natural soap. So if you're worried about like cutting out your toxic load, they smell so good. Uh, I love these and Herbal Alchemy again has one as well, um, but they don't have the great pouches. So the this is like the best exfoliator pouch ever if you have like leftover, like I had like funky spots on my neck. Um, and so I, I don't know how many of these I have. I have so many. I use them like <laughs> religiously to exfoliate off where my spray tan gets wonky. I'm hoping to spray tan today. Um, but Pomifera has a, uh, it's, it says on it, it's technically from Shackley, but again, they merged companies. So, but this is a mineral SPF. So if you're looking for natural, again, it's a mineral SPF BB cream. So, uh, Tammy says the heel oil has been the only thing that has helped her eczema and she's hardly had a flare up. So, Tammy, like why, when my niece had um, eczema, totally gave my sister a bottle of heel oil and then Veda has had it so bad and I have tried so many baby things and I guess because she's a baby baby, I did not even think of that. Um, I will start using that on her and see if that helps. Veda has awful rashes. Um, her face, her arms, uh, we've tried like switching detergents and so I will definitely try. I've heard the heel, so I used the heel on me for stretch marks when I was pregnant um, and then like skin tags, any itches, scratches, bites, um, anything. They also have, uh, Sarah says heel helps her razor burn. Um, they also have something called Repel and it smells like a lemon loaf. Like it is a natural bug spray and it's deep free and it's non-toxic and it is like that's what I'm sending my kids to camp with. You do not get bug bites with the Repel and um, it's so good. I forgot to put primer on. Card. Don't, don't do that. I definitely use primer. Primer just makes everything better. Um, fills in your pores, gives yourself, I'm using Ophir's primer today. I love their dewy primer. Um, repels out of stock. Great. I'll have to like tell my kids like, do not lose this. So they go to camp. It was so cute. I was on the phone with my niece this morning. So Nora is three and she talks all the time. She's like probably one of my favorite humans in the world. Um, like, I absolutely love to FaceTime with her. I love to hang out with her. Like, I don't know. She just brings me so much joy. Like, I love all, all of everyone. Like, my nieces, nephews, everything. But there's just something, like, about a three-year-old that you're like, they are so inquisitive. And uh, so she was crying because all the big kids are going to the same camp. And so I was like, do you want to come to Camp Coco? And she was like, what do we do at Camp Coco? I was like, you can come to Camp Coco and Adam while the big kids go. And we'll do, uh, and like she loves like eggs and she loves steak and bacon and ice cream. And so I was like trying to tell her like we could do ice cream. And she was like, with sprinkles? I was like, yes. And then so we're going to have like a Camp Coco and Adam and have her come over and um I don't know, do something really fun for her so that she doesn't feel like she's missing out on camp like the big kids. Somebody said, let's see, let's see if that makes a difference. I, I hopped off my internet and hopped back on. Um, so we're going to do a Camp Coco and Adam with Nora and Veda and do like some toddler sensory stuff and just make, make the best of it. Okay. So just putting on. So if you're looking for a BB cream, which a BB cream is a light coverage. Um, I put it on with my hands and then I'm going to take a foundation brush and actually like, imagine if you're painting your walls and you just used your hands. This is kind of what you'd look like, right? If you're just painting, you know, it doesn't like, it smears around or whatever. I left that washcloth in there. Um, so you want to be sure you take like your foundation brush and then I just kind of press. 
So this is what I wore yesterday. And shockingly, it was so funny that people, uh, I guess because you see my face often, I got messages saying like, are you wearing a new makeup? Like your skin looks different today. And I was like blown away, like how observant. Um, but I was, I was wearing BB cream. And uh, so I'm just going to show you. So I use BB cream, but I'm also going to use a setting powder over it. Um, and then I'm going to use, these are not Promifair, they're Herbal Alchemy. Um, but they're like these little, very, uh, hydrating. I don't know what I did. With, I literally used them yesterday. Like I loved my whole look yesterday. And so, oh well, hang on. I'll, I'm sure I'll find it. We'll start with setting powder. We'll start there. Okay. Great. So, so the brand of BB cream I was using, I'm using shade number one and um, shade number one. And it is the youth activating BB cream with SPF 30. And then I'm using Ophir setting powder. And basically going under my eyes. So I had the best light in Utah. Like early morning is beautiful. And I was like, why do I not get that at my house? I have a big porch on the front of my house. So I was like, oh, bummer. The lighting was so good. So I'm going to try and see if maybe if I got ready in my downstairs big room, um, if that would make a difference for the lighting of my videos. All right. Um, here we go. I found them. These little guys are like, if you love a dewy summer look, these are so good. If you go to CourtneySalon.com, click Herbal Alchemy. Uh, these are the Moxie Balms from there. Um, I love a lot of they don't have a 99 cents shipping going on right now, uh, but they do have a save $10. And I love so many of their products. I use them on the daily. Okay. So still going to contour, but just putting this on easy peasy. Uh, the little pointy pads, these are like blurring. Um, they're like little fuzzy sponges and they're in my Amazon storefront. So if you go to CourtneySwan.com on my link tree, I uh, have an Amazon storefront. I try to link all the things. Um, had some people ask yesterday about podcast equipment. I have to link that. I haven't done it yet. And then also about, um, juicer stuff. Okay. This is just like a little highlighting color. Nice and fresh. I just use my fingers and kind of tap. Okay, so then we're gonna go in. I'm just gonna use the Hula bronzer today. I love this guy. It's just a matte bronzer. Kind of, I feel like gives a more natural look because it's not super dark and it doesn't have a lot of shimmer. I put it everywhere and then I take my foundation brush and blend. So I'm not really like super careful with it. I do love the way that this uh, little brush is because it's kind of like a fine line. Go under your lip. And then I just kind of blend my edges. Whoop, whoop, super easy. It is summer. Just want this nice, fresh. Um, I wish I was golden. That'll be one thing. Like, genetically, I know I'm not, like, meant to be tan. My dad's like Irish and my mom's not very tan either. But it's one of those things where it's like, Lord, I really wish I was more tan. Um, okay. 
you know, at least they have spray tans and uh, I can't really tan out in the sun because I've had so many like moles removed. Um, so I'm like, you know, I always wear sunscreen. Um, I don't like lay out even though I'd love to. Uh, I don't go to the tanning bed even though I'd love to. I'm just living my, have you guys seen, living my pill life is what I was going to say, but have you seen the things where you spray it up your nose and it makes you tan? It comes with warnings on the package, which makes me really nervous. So I've never tried it. I just feel like surely it can't be good for you, but you, it's like Afrin for tan. Has anyone tried this? I get ads. It must be because the internet knows, you know, my Instagram like knows me. And so I'm getting ads for these and I'm like, I really want to try it. If I didn't think I would die, I would try it. Um, okay. We're going in. I did this yesterday and I don't want to call myself a genius, but it was beautiful. Um, coral, coral, coral. So this is the shade Coral, and then this is the shade Berry, and these are a hydrating lipstick, so when you put this on, and blend it in, it's beautiful. Now I'm just going to show you. I literally just took my fingers yesterday and kind of made this like perfect ombre of pink and plum. And if you want to use a sponge, a brush, anything, like it's like dewy. I, I don't know. Um, I put a little bit here. And then I'm just using my hands and like tapping it out. It looked so good. So everyone, uh, yeah, I did get my lips redone. So after I got all my filler dissolved out of it and then I went and I got a syringe of filler put back in because I'm just not meant to have uh, I just don't love uh, the size of my natural lips. Uh, I have very large features, large eyes, um, a wider bridge nose, all of that. And uh, again, genetically, I have tiny lips. So yeah, I did go and get, um, a few weeks ago, I went and got uh, my lips filled back in. And I definitely, and then I've overlined today. But definitely like feeling like myself again. Um, okay. Can can you have too much glow? I don't know. Can you? I don't feel like you can. I'm gonna put a hat on and a um a hat on today and I'm gonna do my brows really quickly. So uh Grande is still having that deal. The code is Courtney20 and it only goes until tomorrow. Um I did a Grande live yesterday. If you have been wanting to do brow laminate or lash serum or anything, they have a big sale plus the code Courtney20. Um so the link is at CourtneySwan.com or you can drop the word me below. Um, but if that link isn't in it then shoot me a message, but CourtneySwan.com, I have a grande link. So I just like to do this. The only place I've gotten Botox is right here. I have a deep wrinkle, um, in my forehead that, but you can see like, I can barely move my brows. So my here, but I've got nothing anywhere else. I used to get it in all kinds of places um, and filler in places, but it's just skincare, except for my forehead. My forehead, I can barely move my brows. My forehead is a uh, Botoxed and I have no regrets. <laughs> I'm like, I do love natural things. I do love, um, and that's kind of why I think my brows look so much lower than normal because I haven't gotten like my, a brow lift anymore. 
And that might be something at some point I get Botox to give myself a brow lift because it kind of makes my eyes a little more hooded. Um, so I'm not against if whatever you love that makes you feel yourself, like the best version of you, like whatever. Um, but if there are areas where I'm like, hey, this is an area where, I don't know, it's like balance for me. Like, hey, I want to cut down like toxins in these areas, but I might still get Botox. Okay, um, I found, <laughs> I found this from probably 2017. I found it in an old makeup bag and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Do any of you guys ever use this? And I just feel like it might, like I know it's not the trend for the brows right now. Like the brows are to be like furry and wolfy. But I, um, since I'm not getting a brow lift, I do love the way my brows look a little higher. And so I am just going to fill in a little bit with this old school Anastasia Beverly Hill and then fluff. So I don't have a link for our podcast yet, um, just because it takes like time. So yesterday what we did was get all of the like sound receivers, mics, um, all of the equipment set up, all of the editing equipment downloaded, um, went over like when you clap, when you do things, like whatever. And so that's all we did yesterday. We didn't actually film a podcast. Um, and then we'll have to edit them and we'll have to get like hosting on all the platforms and get to all the channels. So podcast is like, shockingly, there's a lot to do to end up on like actually live on a podcast. And so our goal is to launch August 15th. Did any of you guys ever use this? Um... And I might like my uh, brow liner better, but oh well. Might be a reason this went out because I'm feeling like a little sharpied. Uh, that's the great thing about makeup. Like you can play in it. You see what you love. You see what you don't love. You see what works for you now as your skin changes, as you change. I mean, I used to love like the maddest of the maddest of everything. And now I genuinely love like this dewy, glowy glow. Um, also feel like maybe I look a little like my mom right now. My mom always wears like this color, uh, like lip. Do you ever do that? You're like, hmm, I look like my mother. Not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just like, not really as much me as it is Angela. I'm gonna add like a little bit of foundation, just the tiniest. Just to neutral the salt a tiny bit. Oh, I love doing that. Use the Ophira Brown eyeliner with a brush on your brows. I love doing that as well. I don't know why I didn't do that. It's because I found that and I felt nostalgic. I was like, I used to use this all the time. I loved it. Okay. Ta-da. Um, we are going to go in with some Grande Lash, and I have a doctor's appointment today. Um, I had blood work ran uh, last month, and I'm just now going to get the results back of it. Um, having some stuff done, uh, even with like good healthy diet, taking my vitamins, taking my trim, taking my everything, uh, all I, I could exercise more. Um, but doing all the things, I just am not only am I not losing, but I kind of fluctuate on gaining and I just, I don't know. I feel like maybe there's, I have been, we've had a lot of like personal life stress go on the last six months, I guess, maybe longer. And, um, I have like 
probably cried myself to sleep almost every night. Uh, maybe not every night, maybe like five nights a week. I don't know. I just have gotten so anxious at night and like overwhelmed and um, stressed out. And so if I have lost this heated lash curler, I will cry because I love it. <sighs> Where? Um, cry in a different way. That's like crying in a dramatic way, but actual like, um, okay, well, we're just not going to be able to use it today. And that's really sad to me. I'm going to have to dig through all my junk because I just probably threw things somewhere. I feel like I even was like, I cleaned up and I was like, okay, I'm going to put all these things where they belong. <sighs> like, did I put it? I don't know. I literally used it yesterday. Um, so I'm not sure if that has, I know if you have like a, like too much cortisol, like stress hormones, like that can cause an issue. Um, and so I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it. Um, I really don't know. My hands are slippery because of uh, that BB cream. Okay. Well, that one's still got a seal on it and I'm too slick. Okay, we're gonna go in with this one the fanning and curling this is gonna work perfectly uh so again that grande cell um so and i feel like when you quit breastfeeding you know i was pregnant then i breastfed and uh you know i think it's just then you add some like life stress and few other things to your plate and you're like okay I gotta figure out what's going on like try and listen to my body and like I don't um I I'm not on at first I started on antidepressant and uh that was just like what was recommended like okay well you feel sad uh you're overwhelmed here we go and then I felt very like numbed my personality and didn't really I mean I guess I felt happy but not I didn't feel like myself and uh, just talked to my doctor and I was like, I just don't like the way I feel on these. I don't feel like it's a good fit. And so before I start doing all the other things, like I do have MTHFR, it's a blood clotting disorder. I have three clotting disorders. Um, but when you do have MTHFR, which uh, uh, it can cause your body to like not absorb vitamin D, not absorb vitamin B. Like, uh, and so a lot of it can be like, your levels are low. And so that's what I'm getting looked at today is to see like, okay, where are all my levels at? What could I be doing naturally? Like what is my body like maybe deficient in? And, um, how can I help my body like be operating to like optimal? This is a good mascara. That's one coat. So here we are just trying to go through life, figuring out what's best, what to do, but I have that. And so that means, um, I'm almost finished, but that's what I'm going over today. And I'm like kind of nerdy in that way. Like Adam's like, I've never met anyone that loves blood work more than you. Uh, but whenever I was pregnant, you know, they like make you do blood work all the time. Like I love to see like, okay, well, what are my levels? Like, what should I be taking more of? Like, how do I need to, and really I probably need more rest. Um, so I started taking a supplement called methyl care. Uh, Melanie, I wonder if that's what you're talking about, but it's, uh, high in like your B vitamins and, um, different things. And so, uh, things that, you know, and my kids also have the same genetic mutation. And so, uh, it's great to know, like, cause like they can never be on birth control, uh, like hormonal, um, because it could kill you. So, uh, but I just want to know, like, hey, how can we feel like our best self? I'm putting makeup on. That helps me feel like my best self.
So the Grande Deal, the code is Courtney20, and the link is at CourtneySwan.com. If you've needed new mascara, wanted to try their lash serum or any of their mascaras, this one is the Grande Fanatic Feigning and Curling, and it's in the Groovy package, which is adorable. Palma Fair doesn't have a discount code, but it is just 99 cent shipping. Um, that's for the skincare, the BB cream, all that that I use, and there's no code required. So it just is today and tomorrow only, and you just go and check out. And their prices are so good, like the most affordable skincare I've ever used. I hear Lola in there with the kittens. The kittens are so cute. That's the other thing. I'm like stressed out, and then I add all these like things you have to keep alive to your life. I'm like, why? I have no idea. Um, like why I do that. Uh, found the lash curler. It was under my hat. Right in the little hole it was supposed to be in. Well, solved a problem for another day. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to put in some dry shampoo because my hair is greasy. <laughs> Even brush my hair from yesterday. This is just whatever's left over from yesterday. Um, if I wanted to or had more time, I could uh, curl it more. Instead, I'm just going to kind of brush through the natty parts. And then drop that and fluff it up. Like this part, this piece really could use another curl, but also use more minutes in my life so um whoo caught that like a ninja it fell off the shelf um all right now we're gonna go in with some marula oil let's just add some shine and texture without frizz okay this is my little I'll show you full outfit um my zipper's broken on these jeans so I probably should change them but I'm not going to I'll just like try and be conscious of um if my zipper comes undone but it does almost every time I sit down my underwear is like folded underneath my um underneath my belly <laughs> hate when that happens all right friends finished little outfit I'm out of here, throw on some flip-flops and call it a day. Anyways, I hope you guys had a good day. If you want links for anything, drop the word me below um, and I'll send them to you. It's just like a fresh, glowy, sunshine look. And then don't forget that Palmafera has 99 cent shipping today and tomorrow only. Um, ooh, use a key ring and put it over, but I should. I mean, it is like every time I sit, it's like meh. Um, it's also probably because I have like a good amount of, um, I ordered some digestive enzymes. I'm not sure if you guys have ever tried those before. Um, I'll let you know how it goes in the, uh, I got them from Modir, but I was like complaining about like, I've been just so bloated and, uh, one of the girls that was there with me, she was like, okay, if you've got like, and I've got some. I get hives like all the time on the backs of my legs, like some allergies. And she was like, uh, like just talk about how her and her husband religiously take these, that it like takes down the bloat that it just, um, she even showed me a video she had done. She put it in a pudding cup and like stirred it up and it made the pudding cup like all water to the bottom. And she was like, it absorbs all of that and like breaks it down, um, in your body. And she was like, you have to be taking these. And so I ordered them. So they haven't came in yet, but I can't wait to try them. Um, so I'll let you know how that goes too. But that's probably another reason why I'm popping buttons. I'm just popping buttons and busting zippers uh, just because I've got some all this going on. Um, but uh, anyways, um, ooh, Joni said she's been using the Herbal Alchemy Detox and that helps with bloat a lot. I've been using that to help with like staying regular. Um, but I'm excited to try like, you know, gotta, I'm going to figure myself out and, uh, I'll just let you guys know, uh, 
You call that your pouch in Ireland? That's so cute, Anita. Uh, I definitely have a pouch. That's where all my little baby joeys have lived. Um, all right, you guys. Have a good day. Bye, y'all.